let's see one more set of questions a little bit you know we are trying to club the topics which i studied till now yes so now they've given me the same story as soon as this conversion is given see what is present on the arrow this is very very important now what is this kcn doing what will it do it's going to supply cn okay take your pencil and write it's going to supply this nucleophile okay cn nucleophile okay then after that again take your pencil what is this agent it is a reducing agent reducing agent it has to add hydrogen right like this now hno2 okay i did a video on reaction with hono remember that hono will give you a form alcohols remember what's that video i've also shown you it's going to form alcohol it's going to release nitrogen gas it is going to release water also learn that reaction then only come back to this so uh, this is going to hono is going to have or uh, it possesses an anion called nitrosonium anion remember that that specular reaction with hono so this hono what will it give me every time you see <coughs> it should register that you will get an alcoholic product done let us come back whenever you see ammonia what did i say we have prepared one compound called amide i said from acetic acid when you add ammonia this will go and form amides ammonia will form amides remember next bromine in koh where did we do this we did uh, uh, just uh, me uh, just 10 minutes before hoffman bromamide reaction isn't it this kbr and uh, koh so this these reagents are hoffman bromamide reaction reagents so what will bromamide react reagents what will hoffman bromamide reagents prepare they're going to prepare amines which amines primary amines okay let us write and now chcl3 and aoh what is this reagent this reagent basically is used in carbyl amine reaction okay i'm again stretching uh, uh, stressing please watch the earlier videos then only do this otherwise you will not be able to understand this i've already done how to do that reaction this is clubbing of all the videos together under one video so what's that so chcl3 and naoh is carbyl amine reaction so what will carbyl amine reaction give me it will always form isocyanides so with this data i'll start writing now CH3Br is going to supply CN so take this alkyl bromide and with KCN yes you get CH3CN and minus KBr this is your A done to this compound I am going to use reducing agents which will supply hydrogen how many hydrogens two will add here two will add here correct so CH3 CH2 and H2 this is your compound B further i'm going to take with hono this is hono2 or hono i said what are they going to prepare they're going to prepare alcohols always so take this compound directly the right alcohol this is compound c simple let us come back now acetic acid with ammonia now how is this reaction basically i'll write the reaction first this is ammonia isn't it in h3 let me write as h h2 and h and take out this water molecule from here when you take out water molecule what are you left with this nh2 will come and add here so let us remove this water and when this goes and adds here what compound compound do i get nh2 so write that compound first acetic acid in the presence of ammonia and heated what is released out water oh is replaced by nh2 so i just now i showed you CO and H2 acetamide acetamide I got amide then Hoffman's bromamide reaction Hoffman's bromamide reaction will prepare me primary amine one hydrogen uh, one carbon less remember that so primary amine this carbon no this is going to come out as potassium carbonate I told you in the earlier reaction so what what do you do just take like this just remember this will get eliminated as k2co3 nothing to write you will not write anything else you will just note this byproducts okay you can write byproducts but concentration will go more on the main products so you get ch3 nh2 so i got primary amine after this what are we going to do we are going to take ch chloroform plus koh so chloroform oh sorry naoh is given to me okay done 
right chloroform and NaOH carbine amine reaction this is going to get converted to CH3 iso isocyanide methyl isocyanide this is how you're going to do your question most important you can just by products you have to write it's not a problem if even if you forget but main product should be written and labeled so please note the question careful first you should know what is present on the arrow what is the role so write that separately and you can finish off this answer